Hello folks and welcome back to Storm Chasers. We are here on mission number six, uh, which is an interesting one here. So mission six says, today can be an important day. We have several storms forming around the largest town in the region. We have nine minutes to score 300 points and we need to drive our car <laughs> into a tornado because that makes sense. So let's go ahead and get it started and see what's going on here. Uh, while the loading screen is going here, uh, we actually do have some updates on this game. Uh, at the kind of the midway point through June, uh, the developer, after almost two years of silence, has announced that there's an update coming out for this game, hopefully by the end of June, maybe. Uh, there's going to be some new lighting effects, some other things going on. Uh, basically, it's going to be an update to a lot of things, including the cars, because uh, the cars kind of stink right now. Uh, so we don't have anything available here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radar. And Wakoda is our largest town, so we're going to drive out towards Wakoda and see what we have available to us here. So I think the easiest way is to go all the way around to this road and up, and we can see the clouds starting to form over Wakoda. Uh, we have a tornado warning to the west of our position. I'm assuming it's that storm over there, but we're not going to get there in time, I don't think. The radar in this game doesn't update. Oops, I'm not in England. I need to drive on the proper side of the road here. Uh, but the radar doesn't update a ton here. So it's uh, kind of a crapshoot if it works or not. But we're going to try to get into this tornado and see what we can do. We've already used up our minute over time. We have a tornado warning west of our location. So hopefully here we can go in and get our pictures, get hit by said tornado, and get out of dodge and not hurt ourselves too badly. All right, so we can see that that storm up there is warned on and definitely has a tornado associated with it. So we're gonna try to go get that one, I think. Although the one south of town looks more tempting right now. So we're actually gonna go to the south of town. Oh gosh, I hit the wrong road. Okay, oops. I wanted to go down the next road, it's okay. I don't think it's gonna matter for this storm. Although if you look at the radar there, it's not a lot going on. We have some uh, sirens and information going off here. That's always fun and or disconcerting depending on what you're into. There's our tornado. The National Weather Service so has let's go drive into it. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing. Get a little rain in here. We have our automatic windshield wipers, which is always fun. And we're just, we're trying to get into this storm here. Yeah, oh my god, it's coming, it's right. I'm going to die. Okay. So we drove into a tornado. We are currently in the tornado. We got picked up by said tornado and put back down. We are nice and safe. <laughs> We're getting picked up again. I spoke too soon, oh god. This is so disorienting, by the way. All right. So where is the tornado? I think we're okay. There we go. And now we just need to score some pictures. Now there's another bigger storm outside of town. Ooh, it's starting to do some damage to buildings. Uh, damage to buildings is a big points getter in this game for whatever reason. I'm going to stop here because I don't want to drive into that secondary tornado. But I know I can get pictures of both of them. There we go. And we've accomplished both our goals here without having to do too, too much work. We also have probes available to us if we wanted to, so maybe we can just smack one of those down. See if we can gather up some data with that. Or data, depending on however you say it. But that's like a terrifying sight. Like, nobody wants to see that. Look at that. That's, that's horrifying. You see our gas station starting to go. Which means that tornado is roughly heading sort of in our way. There we go. We even got some lens flare from the, the sun going in there. And with our probe here, we can take that probe and put it back in the truck, I think. Because that's not going to do anything for us. Oh my goodness, look at that. So yeah, we have some very big tornadoes there. We are out of the ability to take pictures, but uh, 
they are combining into what looks like one very large tornado. Take a look at the radar here. We look like we're safe, so we're going to just slowly drive away. And unfortunately, we still have to wait time because uh, this game does not allow us to do things. Once we accomplish the goals, we have to play all the way through. No exceptions. So this is probably a terrible idea. We do not need to be driving right next to that monstrosity that's over there. But I do just want to try to get away from it to the best of our ability. And the tornado sirens again are very disconcerting sound to me. I, don't, I do not like that sound here. But we take a look. That is a large tornado. That is slowly coming towards us. We take a look here uh, and uh, kind of focus on that center water tower thing. Um, it's coming towards us, so we need to go. Although this would be a really good spot to drop a probe, so we're going to do that real fast. If it lets us. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Nobody should ever do this. Look, it's crossing the road as we speak, so we're going to get into our truck. And we are going to take off. We're going to smash through. Oh no, we're not going to smash through any fences. Okay, I thought we were going to smash through a fence for a second there, but we're not going to. Oh goodness, look at all that. Look at that. It is just going the town on the town. The wind says this thing should be going south, but it is most definitely not going south. But it is ripping up that neighborhood where we just were. I mean, we were just at that spot. Uh, our points are going up, so we are gathering credit. Man, some of these po this picture right here would have been just worth what we needed. Um, we're going to drive a little bit north here. This car takes forever to stop, but look at that. I mean, you can see the leaves blowing off things. There's fencing. There's all kinds of stuff going on there. But that is a very nasty tornado that we do not need to be part of. We are continuing to still gather points here. So we're up to 705 points uh, purely based off of what we had there. And that storm is now heading out of town, thank goodness. And we continue to gather data from the, that storm. And if we really wanted to, we could try to go put another probe in front of it. But I think that's ill-advised at this point. I think we're just going to hang out and wait for our time to run out. Uh, we could also collect our probe, I guess, if we wanted to. I don't think there's much harm in doing that. Unless there's hail, in which case we could get hit by the hail. That <laughs> would be bad news bears for us. Uh, let's go over and drive in here. As we have our big old tornado going through. And now we will just go in and collect our probe. And then uh, you can see there's... There's our probe. Again, this car takes forever to stop, but if we take a look here, I mean, that tornado ripped up these houses. Like, there's nothing left of some of this town here. And again, just like a real tornado, it, it does massive damage to some spots and doesn't do anything to other spots. Like, this house was largely untouched over here. This one ripped apart. That one even more. That one even more. But across the street, no worries. It's just another day, except for these houses, which got absolutely wrecked. So, yeah. There's a, there's some interesting things going on with that. Let's, let's go see if we can... Let's go follow this tornado. Not that we're going to do anything with it, but let's go see if we can just... Kind of follow along and see what's going on there. Look, there's even garbage bags. This game has such cool little random details that uh, are completely unnecessary, but are kind of neat that they're just there. Uh, we have a flat tire, according to our central dash, so we're going to very quickly exit our car. And we can walk around, it'll tell us that this one's flat, and we can actually even repair our tire, because not only are we expert storm chasers and photographers, we are expert mechanics in fixing our vehicle, especially when it comes to a flat tire. And luckily, our rusty truck always carries a full-size spare. Uh, so, we've gone thro through, done all of our work there. Uh, we are tied in the leaderboard, and yay, we are good to go. So we're going to head back here. 
uh, we should now unlock another mission that we're able to go through and play with. And this is mission seven, receiving warnings of tornado outbreaks in a small area. Watch the multiple tornadoes that could form over your head. Awesome. Uh, so we need to, to score more than a thousand points and a flying cow. We have heavy, <laughs> God help us. Okay. If you've ever watched uh, the movie Twister, flying cows is like one of the things people remember from that movie. So I'm guessing that's where they've got this from. I didn't even know cows were part of this game, so we'll find out with what's going on there. Um, I guess we are on foot here. We do not have any car. Okay. So I'm going to kind of seek refuge near this barn, I think. And there's supposed to be tornadoes that form over our heads. And there are cows in that pasture there, so... As long as it doesn't drop, like, literally directly on our head. There's one popping right there. See it? There's another one. There's two of them right there. Oh, God. This is so un... Oh, my gosh. I do not feel good about this. Okay, so I'm going to try to head away from whatever that one is. Because that's not cool. I'm going to try to get this picture here. There's another one farther out in the distance, I think. Can't really tell. Yeah, that one dropped literally, like, right all on us. This is very disconcerting. I'm glad we're in a video game and not in real life here. Where's that one going? And where's that one going? Something has to have hit these cows, so I'm just trying to figure out which one of these storms is going to get hit a cow. How many pictures do we have? Oh, we have 40 pictures, okay. But there's a big old storm back there. I think that's a big one. Can't really tell. That's definitely a storm off there to the left. If you look over at the cows, that's definitely... Yeah, it's definitely two of them. So one of those is a category three tornado, or EF3, excuse me. Oh, what is that one there? Is that more tornadoes? Okay. And I'm assuming there's more, that is a huge tornado right there. That seems to be moving a bit. I think we have three tornadoes all at the same time. There's one there, one back there, one there. All right, that one looks like it's coming into town here, so we're just going to back up a little bit. Is that moving to the right? Okay, I think we're okay. So we have one, two, three, four tornadoes all in the same spot, one of which is an EF4, which you can tell if you look on the right hand side when I take a picture, there's a multiplier. First bits of debris flying out here. And now we need to find if we can get a cow. Saw one. There's a cow. That's a cow. Come on, we had it. Oh god. Come on. Yeah, I'm sure it would be better with the whole tornado, but I'm trying to get the flying cow. There, we got the picture with the cow. We got our thousand points. Okay. 
Fantastic. We just had four tornadoes all converge on the exact same spot for no apparent reason. Can't really see what's going on with the storms here, but... And I, from what I can tell, they are dissipating or going away here. Alright, so we just have another minute and 30 seconds or so to go through and drop that out. Let's see if our cows are okay. We're going to take all our cows. <laughs> what is this thing here? Oh, maybe I was taking pictures of pigs that are frozen in time. Hello, Mr. Pig. How are you today? It's such a random, random thing. Let's go see our cows. Oh, see, this pig's moving. This pig apparently did not get hit, but that's apparently a dead pig. That's a dead pig. This is a living pig. See him walking, eating, like nothing in the world ever happened. Like, we didn't just have massive tornadoes come through here. How about you, Mr. Cow? Oh, you're a live cow. Hi, Mr. Cow. How are you today? Good? Oh, yeah. No, you're not good. I know. All your friends are gone. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's go through and see the carnage that we have here. Looks like we have another pig. See, this look actually looks like a pig that uh, didn't make it. Sorry, Mr. Piggy. I thought I saw something over here. Yeah, there's something over here. I'm assuming it's more Mr. Piggies. There we go. We're out of time. We have accomplished our goals here. So, really random, but I guess uh, with kind of contrived things like that, you need to set the stage. Uh, and they did so very nicely for us. Uh, so somebody scored 70,000 <laughs> points on that. I don't know how you do that, but okay. Uh, let's go through. We should have one more mission left of this game before anything is here, and that is mission number eight. Uh, we are the tornado now. Your goal is to keep increasing your destruction category, causing as much damage as you can. So we have uh, 10 minutes to score 2,000 points and blow up two gas stations. Let's go ahead and start this and see what we can do. So while I was loading, as I was saying, uh, we were, the developer is going th back through and starting this game. There are currently uh, at least two other tornado games that I know about. One is called Outbreak that's currently in development. Uh, and then there is another one that's uh, a newer one uh, that just got released not too long ago. Um, from what I've heard, it's pretty good. Just requires a, a few little updates to get going and uh, should be fine. Uh, so I'm going to be the tornado here in just a moment. I'm just going to move over to a place where I can get easy points for destruction. Uh, which would be right here. And then we have to generate the tornado, which takes a shocking amount of time to do. Um, but we're going to drop under right on this unfortunate house. Uh, and then we'll eventually head back that way to get the gas station. And I believe there's another gas station somewhere in this town. We'll find out. Uh, but before we can do anything, we need to actually become a tornado. So you can see that we have started. Um, near my arrow there, there's some dust kicking up. Going through. And this is back from the first... Uh, video I did on this game where we got to play around and just kind of be a tornado. Um, it's fun and weird at the same time. Here we go. So we are officially at EF0. Now we are clicking and we're going to go to an EF1. And we're just going to try to cause some damage here. So we can get to be the biggest tornado possible, which is an EF5. Okay, not doing anything crazy here, but just trying to grab some points. Lift that car up just a little bit, you know, for fun. And the points are going to come way easier once we get to be a big, bigger tornado. We can go through and, like, right now we're kind of picking up some of the outside stuff, but we're not getting everything. When we get bigger, you can see how more parts start falling off the houses and that number increases rapidly. So now we're going to become an EF3. We have a tornado sirens going off. And we just need to get to our 2,000 points. And once we have the 2,000 points, we are, well, we also need to guess, figure out we're focused on getting the gas station here. So now we're in EF4. 
And every time you get bigger, your speed slows down, which is not exactly accurate to real life. I mean, not wrong in theory, but tornado's size and speed are not related to each other, from my understanding of everything. Uh, so I'm going to scale back down here to an EF. Let's go back to an EF0. It takes a little bit of time to do that. And I'm doing that, one, because I can move faster. Uh, but also, we're already halfway through our points, and... Uh, it's not gonna be too, I don't think it's gonna be too bad to get our points out of this one. So there's gonna be this little rope of a tornado going through this town. And we just need to find a gas station, which I believe is down this, there it is. You can see it at the end of that road or that next intersection, it's over at that corner. And you can see our path is also being shown of where we're at and where we're going, or not really where we're going, but where we've been as a tornado. So I wish the trees moved a little bit, like we just went over that tree directly and didn't care about us at all. I know it's only an EF0, but trees generally respond to like even the slightest winds. Oh, you'd think they'd be a little bit motion heavy or do something if a tornado, even a, a, a relatively weak tornado, passed right over top. But that's okay. Nothing too big a deal there. We're getting out to our gas station and we're going to have to grow into an EF4 here. So we'll do that. You see a little some power flashes. There, we blew up one gas station. Doesn't give us any indication if we've done that work. I mean, we've seen it happen. But we don't actually know that we did the work there. Again, we're going to scale back down, back to an EF0. Because I think we have one gas station taken care of. And we're just trying to use our time as appropriately as possible here to go through and destroy the other gas station, as weird as that sentence sounds. So we're heading down here. Um, the houses are, like these buildings on the left here, do not destroy. We can rip off the water tanks and the air conditioning units and the, the hood vents and all the other stuff, but the brick buildings, no matter how strong of a tornado you are, do not do anything. Uh, so that's one little weird thing. But we're gonna go through, we're just gonna wipe out this little neighborhood here. Sorry guys. Let's make sure we get our points. You can see uh, the house on the right there, we're not even touching. And we're wiping it out. And it's real easy to get 2,000 points. Like we're just about there. There we go, we've gotten our 2,000 points. So where do we need to go? We need to go down this way. I'm gonna scale down here real fast. We're in EF5 and just causing mass havoc. So we'll scale down. We'll get over to our gas station. And then that should be all we need to do. Because I don't know where all the gas stations are. I know there's one in this town and one where we started. Uh, we can see the path again of where we are at. And the arrow shows us roughly where we're going. So we're just holding straight, going ahead, making sure we do our thing and you can see kind of a history of what we've done uh, the house directly in front of us not the first one but the second one is the first house we hit and we kind of moved up the block there and you can see we got progressively more powerful as uh, time went on we're still wiping out a few uh, umbrellas and stuff here but let's go through this house is going to get hit two times from the same tornado because that's something we can do and we need to get a move on so we can get down to this gas station. You can see our previous path there in the, the house to the left. So we can see the gas station out in the distance. We just need to be able to move and get there. And then we'll increase our strength. And then Bob's your uncle, we should be done. And that will really wrap up this game until we get more levels or until there's something to make note of. Uh, apparently there is an alpha out that people are getting access to that has all of the new things. Um, it's 0.9 of the game, so it's still definitely beta access game. Uh, and even beyond that, the, the alpha is there. Uh, but I don't have that yet, and uh, I don't think I'm going to get there anytime soon. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but maybe by the time this video comes out, we will have one. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Uh, but we have uh, just under three minutes to destroy this gas station. So we're going to level up here to uh, EF5. You can see how slow we start going. Um, but 
we get to be a much, much, much bigger tornado. And there we go, we've blown up two gas stations. And we also have that truck. Let's see what we can do with that truck. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Keep that truck up in the sky. <laughs> well, again, it's uh, horrifying that these things do exist and people do have to deal with them. I've lived in an area where you have to deal with this. It's not a, a fun situation. Uh, being a tornado and causing destruction in a virtual fake setting is very fun. Just wish there's a little bit either more density or that I can move faster as a strong tornado. I don't get the relation here in this game between speed of the tornado and its intensity. They are not related. The, the, the tornado moves as fast as the storm moves. And it doesn't matter if it's a strong tornado or a weak tornado. If the storm's moving at 60 miles an hour, the tornado is moving at 60 miles an hour. It's not related at all. Um, but yeah, I think there's a barn up here somewhere. Let's go see if we can find that. Yeah, it's out in the distance. I don't think we'll make it there in the time that we have. We have about a minute and 30 seconds or so to finish this one up. But again, still fun to just kind of go through and see what's going on and uh, have that there. Oh, um, the last mission with the cows, it reminds me. There's uh, Twister 2's coming out. Uh, Anthony Ramos uh, from Hamilton and also the newest Transformers is in it um, and a whole bunch of other people. Uh, so I'm excited for that because it was one of my favorite movies as a kid growing up. Uh, I actually thought about becoming a meteorologist just because of that game and uh yeah oh we get points for cows look at in the top left there i got five points for hitting cows apparently uh so i am generating points all over the place here um but we can see that we have all of this there are birds for whatever reason flying and uh yeah there's a cow see see that on the road <laughs> Oh, this game makes me laugh. Uh, the physics of it are not bad. They're just kind of random in how detailed they are. Uh, but again, this is just a beta game uh, that you can purchase. So it, that part's fun. And uh, it's fun to just go through and see what you can do. There goes another cow. <laughs> I want to see if we can get to this. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get to this. Uh, oh, we we'll definitely hit the barn at this point. Yeah, we're ripping that barn apart. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. We're definitely ripping it apart as we come into the ending here. Uh, so that's going to wrap up this game. Uh, in, unless there's an update here, I'm going to end this little series here that I've been putting out on Fridays. And we'll jump into a new game next Friday. But, folks, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time, and I hope that you enjoyed this game. Uh, there's Outbreak, and then there's, that's coming out, and there's another one that's based in the 90s. Um, that's kind of set off of Twister as well. So it looks super cool, and uh, I uh, hopefully get to play it here. Uh, but if you're interested in any of those games, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.